to show you how to do a backup and restore on your Mio X interface. To do this backup and restore, we're going to need a SysX program. Uh, we're going to need our backup file, which will be for download in the description. And I'm using Oracle for X series 1.7.2. So let's get into it. So I'm going to go into Oracle for X series so you can kind of see what we are doing here. So I'm going to do this both on an XM and an XL. Uh, you can do it. Uh, so the XL right here, 008. I'm just going to write tester on it just so we can see that it's a, a device that gets backed up. And we're going to reset it and then we can restore it back on. Uh, so I'm just going to change the name here. but and add maybe a little bit of routing. Just gonna add two routings right there on the first DIN, just so we know that they're different. And I'm gonna do the same for the XM07. You can see the name's already modified. Um, I'll just pop that on there. Also note that you need to be on the new firmware, which is 1.0 or 1.2.0. Um, if you hit your little info button on there, you can see what your firmware version is. So you can see this is connected with RTP on this one. Um, that's why it doesn't have the firmware button and the XL is connected with USB. So we're going to try it with both and we'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that Oracle is fully closed and uh, if you have iConfig open for some for something else, uh, make sure that's all closed. Uh, any iConnectivity software is you'll want to make sure that they're all closed for this um, so I'm going to do the backup on the XL first so I have this backup all XL and it's going to back up everything on my XL so up here in this little drop down menu I just have to go to any port on my Mio XL uh, so I'll just choose host 5 just because it's an odd port to pick uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit play and then as soon as we hit play you'll see a little box here it, once that disappears, we're going to hit record many, and that's actually going to record uh, your backup file. So I'll show you how that works. We're going to hit play, and then record many, and now you can see it's starting to record the messages. Um, and if I look at the front of my interface, you'll see uh, a light on the top row, depending on which type of connection you have. So I have USB, so USB is lit red. And then across the bottom, you'll see lights going back and forth while it's loading this. And then on the main screen of your XL, you're gonna see uh, backing up globals, backing up preset one, two, three, and so forth. And once it's done loading all the presets, it should stop at about 6,000 messages, almost 7,000 messages, uh, or 6,100 uh, messages. And so we'll hit done. And on the front of the interface, you can see backup finish. And if it's successful, you'll see green lights jumping from the top row to the bottom row of LEDs. Um, and then all you have to do is just touch the front panel anywhere. So I've touched the front panel and you can see I now have an untitled uh, file right here. If I click on that once, I can rename it. So I can go Neo XL backup. 2020. So that's all we named it. So in order to get this back, so I'm going to go back into Oracle. I'm going to reset uh, my Mio XL right here. Oops. Over to that guy. I'm going to hit the little info button. We're going to go factory reset. And yeah, I'm sure. And so that's going to reset my device. So it's set up again, you can see now the name's gone. And if I go into MIDI routing, those extra DIN routings are gone. So now we're gonna restore it back and we should see all the information back. So again, same thing, SysX librarian here. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Uh, if we go down to any port on the Mio XL, again, it doesn't have to be the same one. So I can pick DIN 5 this time. Um, and we're gonna just play that file back. So we're gonna hit play. This might take a little bit to play all these messages through. But what you're going to see is you're going to see a uh, red light on the top, depending on the method that you're using. So in my case, USB. Uh, and then you're going to see the red LEDs going back and forth across the bottom. 
on the actual screen, you're gonna see restore, global restore, preset one, two, three, and so forth. So once this is finished, I'll show you that. So now that the backup's finished, you will see green lights going up and down on the front of your Mio XL interface, um, or Mio XM, it'll be the same on that. Just touch anywhere on the screen to stop that. It should also say restore finished. Um, so that should be all set up. So if we go into Oracle for X series, we should now be able to see that that name's already back. Yeah, Mio XL 008, and you can see the tester name already back. So this guy's restored back to it. Now you don't have to restore back to the exact same uh, Mio interface. You can go to another one to kind of make copies uh, if you're doing backups and that kind of thing.